In this video, I'll show you how to calculate simple interest. This is part three. As discussed in part one and part two, simple interest is interest calculated only on the original amount invested, known as the principal amount. In question one, they tell us that Ricky invested $1,600, which is our P, our principal amount, for two years that paid 8.5% simple interest. Determine the final amount of Ricky's investment. So in our case, our T value, luckily it's in years already, is 2. Our R is 8.5 divided by 100, 0 0.085. And this time they want us to determine the final amount. So whatever value we get for I, we're going to add it to 1600. So let's go ahead and do that. I is equal to 1600 times 2 times 0 0.085. Let's use our calculator. 1600 times 2 times 0 0.085. And this gives us $272. Not so bad. I'm going to add that now to 1600 And we get 1872 1872 as our final. F is for final. Let's move on to question two. That wasn't so bad. In question two, Tony invests $1,500 this time for three years. That paid 6.5% interest determine the final amount. So to do this, once again, I is equal to 1500 times 3 times 6.5 divided by 100. Using your calculator, 1500 times 3 times 6.5 divided by 100. And you'll notice that I didn't convert it beforehand, and that's fine, because as long as you keep track, we end up with 292.5. I'm going to add this now to the principal of 1500, I'm skipping a small step, and I end up with 1,792.50. 1,792.50. And so there you have it. Two examples on how to calculate simple interest. Make sure you watch part four for more examples. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, visit our website at studyforce.com. We're an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.